just full of that rage, and I was like, I gotta channel that somewhere. Tonight, Noblesville West Middle School parents are getting their kids ready to go back to school tomorrow for the first time since the shooting last Friday. But as our David McNally tells us tonight, one mom is now demanding change. Angie Foreman remembers Friday's call from son Lucas. My son's, you know, um, horror, you know, stricken, shaky voice saying, Mom, there's been a shooting at school. Lucas' classroom was right above the seventh grade science room where 13-year-old student opened fire, striking his teacher and a classmate. They didn't hear the gunshots, which I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that, but he did hear the um, screaming. As they reunited with their kids Friday, relief and other emotions. I was so beyond grateful that my son was okay um, on Friday, but this like bubbling rage at the same time um, was building up and you know it's just when is enough going to be enough she's already lobbied indiana lawmakers by phone first targeting ones that get nra money demanding stiffer gun laws including access to weapons the fact that a 13 year old boy was able to come into the school with two handguns and open fire Clearly, there are measures that need to be taken to prevent that from ever happening again. She's joined Moms Demand Action, started by a Zionsville mom after the Sandy Hook shooting. The group has gone national, and she's gone international, sharing ideas on gun laws with an activist in the UK who reacted to Angie's husband's post on social media. He's a school teacher and wrote of his son's classmates, quote, All I could think of was the horror that they encountered, huddled in the classroom, hearing screams outside the room, not knowing whether they were going to live or die. He wants tougher gun laws, too. Angie wants to see Noblesville do it right, so the country will say, Look what they did to make their school safer and their community safer. You know, they all came together. Instead of fighting over, you know, the two opposing voices, you know, let's find some common ground. Angie says at least initially, students for security reasons will not be able to bring their backpacks to school. She also says that she sees that everything that happened Friday, including her son's survival, as a second chance for her to do something. And she says she's not going to let it go to waste. John. All right. Thank you. David